in order to conduct an aerosol, which is a viable and non-viable um, air sample, you'll have a little tripod here. We're going to begin setting it up. So you unscrew it, have all the legs come out, tighten it. Okay, and then you turn this one to the right, extend it. Okay, have it a little bit lower, around like five feet high. Wow. Then you make sure that you have your aerosol cassette as well. Get a little bottle in your bag. And then at this hospital, we have to have little extension cords so as to not overload the circuit. We'll take out your aerosol pump. Now you run the cord through the tripod. I usually do it about like hands, my hands only, so like seven inches, seven inches out at an angle. I try and have it like closer to a 45 degree angle. Yeah, like so. And then I'll, I will run the air sampler and ensure that it's running at 15, 15 liters per minute. <laughs> aerosol cassette ready. How we do it, we're going to peel back the tape. Okay, then using the circular hole, we're going to put it on the board. Try and get in all the way. And then to a 45 degree angle and now your sampler is all ready to go. We at the hospital we run it at 20 minutes for 15 liters per minute. Like so. And then after 20 minutes have passed, um, we'll take it out, put, peel the tape back to seal it, make sure no more air gets in. label and then bag it up and then begin to disassemble your equipment so you conduct an aerosol culture aerosol sample yeah thank you